So if I'm elected sheriff, I'll work for every single person in this room. If you live in Cattle Parish and, and you buy a candy bar and you pay tax for it, whatever it is, I'll work for you, I'm your employee. So law enforcement has to get back to an environment, a creative environment where people, where people realize who you are and what your real role is. So as every police officer, every sheriff deputy, and every sheriff, and every police chief works for you. Right now, when you get up and someone stop, I'll tell you what, how many of you, if, if you have a choice of, right, of, of, of uh, being fearful of your, of your people in your community or fearful of the police, which one are you more fearful of? Exactly, I think that's the general consensus. It doesn't matter where we're at. And so, and the reason is, is because, and this is a question, you don't, you don't trust them, right? Exactly, and, you, and, and with, go ahead, sorry, one sec, you. And so it, anything can happen. And so what's brought us to that point is, is that a lot of times law enforcement officers aren't held accountable for their actions and things that are done on the streets. So what happens is we have, uh, in these departments, we have, like the sheriff's office, we have internal affairs. So if someone, like a recent video that got out, if someone, if someone beats you in jail, and obviously if you're in jail, you're, you're handcuffed, you have, you have no way of defending yourself, and someone beats the total hell out of you, and I'm sorry for my language, but this is just the way it is. So if someone beats the hell out of you in jail, then what do you think happens to that deputy? Because what happens is pol police officers are police and police officers. So when you go through an academy and you're 18 years old, and you go through, or 21 years old, you go through a police academy with your friend behind you, and you and you've worked together for 30 years, you've protected each other, you've, you've ridden together, you ride or die together. And so what happens is you go in and you abuse someone in jail, you beat the fire out of them, and they send you to internal affairs. Your buddy behind you that you've been friends with forever, that's always ridden with you and protected you, he's the person that has to police you and determine what you're, what you're, what's gonna happen to you. So, and once he determines what's gonna happen to you, it's sealed. Everything that happens in internal affairs, it's not, you can't get it from public register quest. So no one knows what happens to that officer. So that leads to a mistrust in the community because if they see that he got, if you got away with something, he protected you, they're not, they're not one, they're not gonna trust either one of you, but they're not gonna know what your names are, they're not gonna trust anybody else that works with you because of that. So once people start being accountable, held accountable for their actions, it's gonna change things. And once a sheriff is held accountable for the actions of all of his deputies and answers to them, not only answers to them, but sometimes and a lot of times, a sheriff needs to offer a public apology mean the public apology, and then, and, and then put, some, put plans into place that will prevent it from happening again.